So this the scale of this operation. If you think about when we get to a thousand airplanes in that 2022, 20, 23 time frame, and every airplane flies about 300 hours a year. So to do the math, every F-35 day of flight, we gain 1,000 hours of flight time. And today we're close to 100,000 hours with just 220 plus airplanes. So you can see the amount of learning that we will get on any given day is unprecedented from any other airplane program. And all the partners, all the countries that buy F-35 will have an advantage of all that information. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So Mark, let's go to the slides, please. So before I talk about the future, let's talk about wrapping up SDD. Uh, this journey started back in 2001, and I'm glad to say that it looks like we'll be winding most of the flight operations down in 2017, and then wrapping up most of the spec compliance through 2018. If you look on the left here, flight sciences is really what's going to pace the remainder of the SDD program. We've actually finished all the flight sciences work on the A model. And we're well on our way to wrapping up the C model of flight sciences as well, probably in that October time frame. What's the longest, uh, what remains to be done is the B model flight test. So think about going out to the very, very edge of the envelope and making sure the airplane's not only safe to fly, but can maneuver the way the pilots uh, will need it to maneuver going forward. And that's not only clean, but also carrying an extensive external set of weapons. And that work is actually going uh, quite well. In the center, I chose to show the helmet. It's what allows our pilot to look at the fuse situation, and it's kind of what really separates fifth generation airplanes from our fourth generation legacy airplanes, is that information that's shown on that pilot's display. Mission system is actually going extremely well. We have all the capability that we would call 3F, or that capability that goes into SDD. What remains is what we'll call cleanup build. So the symbology isn't quite what the pilots want. They want the colors a little bit different, or they want it to display. Uh, the, the system doesn't respond quite as fast. And so we're working through those final integration elements, and we expect to put what we hope is the last SDD version of that software uh, in the flight test into September of this year. The good news, last year we are talking about stability of the software. We don't need to talk about the stability anymore. Uh, the 3F software is doing outstanding, well exceeding specifications. The latest numbers I saw had it around 40 or 50 hours mean time between anomalies. That's outstanding, significantly even better uh, than what we used on 3I. So great progress in the mission systems world. And on the left hand, or the right, your right hand side again, is wrapping up the full weapons for F-35 and being the uh, 3F. A subset of what the airplane can totally carry uh, will be demonstrated and validated as part of SDD. As I mentioned, we have some weapon separation work at high speeds for the B model, as well as the C model. But everything is going quite well, and I don't anticipate any problems. So looking forward, I think uh, when we're back, at Farnborough next year, you'd be looking at uh, SDD flight test will have been complete.